So we're starting to look at some of the performance you know, options for in the powertrain, make a little bit more power out of it. Now an engine's gonna breathe you know, through the throttle body, and you guys know it's all about getting air in. Well, once that throttle opens, all you have is you know, some vacuum or suction from the piston, and the only way for the air to get in is by atmospheric air making that push. Well, anything that's restricting between, you know, obviously the atmosphere and that cylinder, it's gonna slow you down and rob you of power. So one place we can look for really easy performance is in this induction system. And we'll pull out the old, ooh, look there we that. go. I think so, Kenny must have had this thing on the dirt track. <laughs> no doubt. <laughs> so, wow. you know, the first place to look is just your filter to see if it's dirty. Now that's obviously gonna slow you down. You can imagine something like that, trying to breathe through this dirty filter. So you can replace it with a new one. And it's there, obviously, to keep the dirt from out of your engine. All this dirt and debris will get sucked through. It can scratch cylinders. It's just bad for wear. But we can do more than just put a stock filter on it if we want to gain a few horsepower. So our kit we've got from k and at about 10, 11 horsepower, which is a nice, simple, easy way to replace your filter. Much better. Nice and clean. Now, k and has a lifetime filter, so you can always wash it, reuse it high flow, so you're gonna get a lot more flow in you with this. And on a Corvette like this, you should see about a 10 horse gain. Yeah, it's all about surface area. So the more surface area, the easier it is to breathe through. And the design of the filter. A lot of guys know, I mean, this is an oil-based system. It has a larger pore size than the paper filter, but the oiling helps catch those dirt and debris, but lets the air go through. And as Brian said, you can wash it, reuse it pretty much forever. All right, now it's a quick mock-up. The uh, top of the filter mounts with a bracket right on the original bosses here. Get everything lined up. Now we're gonna take a quick little draw a line here, about a half inch clearance above, about a half inch clearance on the sides. And we can remove this. We're gonna make a nice clean cut in this little plastic shroud. Offset it a little bit to give more room for this bigger filter to let in more air. Now to make room, we want to go ahead and cut ourselves a little hole, so we drilled corner spots that allowed us to stick the blade down in, and then just cut straight on each side after we marked out a square. So now we'll put our brackets in, these two screws in with our nylock nuts, piece of cake. It's pretty wild on the vet, how angled the radiator is. Okay, got the last little band clamps tightened up. Got it straight, looking good. All right. Let's go ahead and plug in the MAF sensor plug. Okay, that you was got easy. Your PCV line hooked up. Yeah. So I think all we got left to do, besides admire the cool carbon fiber finish, is put our carb <laughs> sticker on. So we're 50 state legal. Very nice. California Air Resource Board. Cool. Okay. Chop, chop. 10 horse in the back. That was easy.